Hello everyone, welcome to Philips Tecon DDS CAD. With the amendment of EN 12831, new requirements were set for preheating ventilation. This may only be done passively if it must not have a direct influence on the heating load. In this video, I will show you the workflow to activate the passive preheating in a ventilation zone. Enjoy! For this demonstration, I have a building of six levels. Each level has several ventilation zones, but in this case, I will just activate the passive preheating for this magenta zone on the right in a level 4. Alright? To do so, first we come to the building function. In the tab Airflow Requirements, I will search for this zone. This is the one. After selected, I click on Calculate. We find in the Design Criteria tab the passive preheating option. We must activate it and then insert a temperature, like minus 2 uh, degrees. And then I can click OK and close this dialog. Next, we come to Tools and we activate the heat load calculation. In the dialog, I first select the same zone. We can see in the model if it's the correct or not. Yeah, as we can see, as I select this one, it will be highlighted in the model, in the background. Okay? Uh, in design criteria, we have the tab Building Entity activated. And under Ventilation, we find here the passive preheating in gray, so it's inactive. We don't have to do it anything right now. We simply calculate it. You see that the passive preheating will be activated with the temperature I have inserted for the ventilation calculation. And now so the results are updated. Would you like to receive more tips of DDS CAD? Click on the DDS CAD logo below and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell and don't lose the next videos. And what would you like to see next? Put it on your comment below and maybe I make a video for you. Cheers!